video. It's your girl Keisha. It's your boy Chris. And we are Prince TV. If you haven't seen us in the screen before, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and hit that post notification bell so you won't miss videos like this. Today we are doing Agree to Disagree, which is a fun little game saying what you agree with and don't agree with. We did majority of relationship questions or like, you know, questions that would be acceptable or unacceptable in a marriage. Marriage and or relationship. Yeah, but... More so marriage. Yeah, I was going to say, um, more so the relationships that are being taken seriously that they want to lead to marriage, not just one of those flames. Right, right, right. Yeah. Okay, you, you worded that pretty good, huh? Yeah. So, let's get Shane to this video. He got the questions down. So, basically, if we strongly agree with something, we're going to, you know, so basically if we agree with something or if we do disagree with something, you know, strongly on either way, we're going to be holding up the paper and telling a little of why we feel how we feel. All right. Okay. Is flirting cheating? Do we hold up the paper first or? Yeah, we hold up the paper okay. first. Wow, only agree, not strongly. I agree that it is cheating, but as a woman, sometimes you just gotta get out of there. So you might have to. It's, it's not reality to you, but in my reality. Well, you say, hey man, you might be a little too ugly to be a. Uh... Trying to get up out of there. They ain't even gonna mess with you. That's not, they not that's, even gonna be on you, dog. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying men don't have that problem. But is that is that flirting at that point? If I, if I say something that is flirting back to... Yeah, it, it still is flirting. But I just know that it is for my safety. It's cheating, but I might be like, hey... I'm like, like I'm going to come home and tell you like what I what I said or whatever, but I'm saying maybe it's necessary in some cases. So say I'm I'm out I'm outside by myself. A dude say something like, Hey, what's up? What's your name is? How you doing? My name is Mary, and I'm married. Thank you, married. Right. Some men have egos to where they wanna. Put your merry butt in the dirt. Dang. That is is very true. We're gonna have to get her a gun. That's, that's how it's looking. We're gonna have to get her right. a Right, so five. sometimes you just gotta be like, hey, and walk to the car really fast. 45 in the car right now. Sometimes you gotta be like, I'm good, and walk to the car. But, you know, it's, it's to get out of there, but it might be a little necessary. Okay. I get what you're saying though. I get what you're saying. You ain't trying to. Die. You ain't trying to not make it back home. Yeah, just from a little flirting. If, yeah. I, if I if all I gotta do is a little flirting to make it back home, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. Or you just pull out your phone like, hello. Uh, they gonna be like, you ain't talking to nobody. <laughs> <laughs> all right, next question. Uh, can you still be friends with your ex? Okay, similar opinions. Go ahead. I only feel like that because I mean, if you gotta bring up past experience, you nah, can do that. No, okay, but yeah, I was like, if if it was real, you know, then that means it was real love, and then if you just ain't got the love no more, then it turns into hate. Mm -hmm. So it's like, what else would I keep you around for? If I just hate you, other than to love on you secretly or whatever. Mm-hmm. Hey, I feel like it, it leads to it leads to something that you probably think wouldn't happen, but yeah. end up happening. Because a lot of people be still trying to hold on to their past relationship with their ex, but they know that they really secretly want to pursue something still, but it just wasn't working out. So they probably just gonna try to pursue a sex life. Or yeah, or if they see that you are 
you know, better as a friend because y'all ain't got that commitment and you ain't you ain't being controlled or tied down or whatever. You start to think like, hey, why you ain't like this when we was together? Maybe mm -hmm. I want to try some. Maybe I want to try it again. Maybe you change, but really, it's them knowing that y'all ain't got no commitment, so they can, you know, do be whatever your friend they want to do, do yeah. what they want. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> okay. So next question: Would you remain stable? If your growth patterns are different. I don't know, because it's like why wow, you said I'm I'm firm right now. I'm gonna go with this one. I'll go with this one. You don't think so? Okay, so I'm I'm thinking what like what kind of growth patterns are we talking about? Like career wise, financial wise, like mindset. morality wise, like mindset. Mindset wise. Yeah. Okay, now we probably should have put that in the question then, because <laughs> if you were talking about finances, I was gonna say like your finances really don't really define who you love, like Yeah. Like you can be broke and still be in love. Yeah. But, but mindset wise, that's something completely different. Mindset now covers everything. Yeah, like now y'all really not even on the same page. So yeah, like you with, said, anywhere. With, yeah, with being with it being mindset, what do you think? I still strongly disagree. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to say strongly disagree too. But because say I'm ready to take this entrepreneurship to the maximum level. I'm ready to be a CEO, owning five businesses, and you want to be unemployed on my couch. See, now you could have said, you could have, okay, now nah, yeah. When you put it like that, I thought you was gonna say something like, you wanna uh, work a nine to five, but I was I was gonna say like, right. hey, that's still money. Yeah, I'm, I'm not like that. I'm saying your mindset. Because if it, like, what if somebody like, oh, she got it, she got the pills, she good. Nah, yeah, now nah, that's complete, yeah, you, yeah. yeah. Like and and or if I'm I'm with the five businesses or whatever, and I say, hey, you could be a manager at one of my things or whatever, but you you like, nah, I'm gonna just sit over here and sell this dope, or I'm gonna just work at McDonald's, this little McDonald's job part time. It's cool, it's cool. It, you're not like you're not trying it. to put forth no effort yeah. at all in your life. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Put that in the question next time. <laughs> Would you stay in a relationship if your in-laws was like weird? Like they weird towards you. Not just weird like weird people, because you know people. Yeah. But like weird towards you like. So this is basically like a, a hard yes or a hard no. Instead basically. of strongly agree to strongly disagree. So I would say a hard no. Yeah. Cause it, is this who I have to trust to watch my future children? But you can get a babysitter. Watching your children ain't the problem. I but, think the problem is more. No, so I'm not like, saying. I'm not saying that like that's the only thing they're good for. But I'm saying if I can't trust nothing, like like if I can't trust my kids around you, I mean I can't trust my life around you. Mm. And is that the type of person? the type of people that I would want to marry into and to be my family now. Yeah. Yeah, you don't want to be marrying. Say like I was a mama's boy. That would probably get on your nerves that every time we get into it, I got to mm -hmm. call my mama and see yep. it. Like, she did such and such and such. Like, like it ain't, I didn't marry my mom. And also. You didn't marry your daddy. Yep. And also, um, <clears throat> like in those instances where they never married, but the, the man died and then the mama take everything. Yeah, like because that's her right to do. But she leave like the, the girlfriend, the fiance, and the kids, maybe if they got some nothing, knowing that they did probably built this together or they was, you know, promising each other that this was gonna be the life they're living. Mm -hmm. But now it's all in her hands and she being dirty with it. I thought you was more so finna lean into like the uh being nasty towards me? No, 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 no. Like, yeah, basically, but like, the mama ain't got no man, uh, so her son is her man. Yeah. 
I ain't yeah. never really seen that the other way around though. With the daughter and the father or something? Yeah, cause daughters are more likely to cut off their dad to be with the man that they love than than you men like are women to are cut more off their moms. Independent. Yeah. Are you saying like it's a like 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 a man won't cut off their clingy mom for the girlfriend, but if a daughter see that this man is saying you're not good enough for my daughter, she probably just won't come around the dad no more. Hmm. Like they still gone. Yeah. Like she she you know yeah. he ain't finna decide nothing in her life if she loved that man. Yeah. Well, I've never seen it. It's probably it's probably you know been done, but I've never seen it. That's what I'm saying. I've never seen it either. Yeah. Does your partner have a say so in what you wear out? Like when you're doing like your little outings. Yeah. I only say this because one, I'm not gonna just wear something that's just crazy, crazy revealing. Um, but I also like I'm going to wear what I want, but I I like to. I like to know that my partner think I look good in this. So I would ask him like, hey, how, like what you, what, how you want my hair today? You know? I can't ask you that cause I yeah. don't have no hair. But, uh, but you listen to what yeah, I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, told you. I mean, I'm. Cut the braids. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I did do that. Okay, I can see you right. But I don't know. I feel like that, that's more so like a. Woman's thing. Yeah, like a man asking a woman type of question. Cause. Yeah. I'm not wearing no, yeah. what they call them, daddy shorts. I'm not wearing that, yeah. yeah. That ain't for me, and I'm too jelly to be wearing anything <laughs> tight up there, so. Boy. Nah, I'm being real, I'm being real. Yeah. Is it okay to have different preferred levels of spiritual beliefs and practices? You say strongly? Yeah. It's like a... I know how we is, so I really can't speak on nobody else. But... Yeah, but imagine I was different. Imagine I believed different. Eventually we would bump heads, but not in the beginning. Like in the beginning it would be smooth, like, oh yeah, I don't really care about that. But eventually, when y'all start to take y'all faith walk, Seriously, yeah, it's gonna and or have kids and gotta decide where they go. Oh, to yeah, worship. yeah, dang, I ain't even think about that. Mm -hmm. Dang, strong, no, I'm just playing, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess, yeah, I mean, I said disagree, so yeah, I was just trying yeah, to say, like, it ain't, it. it ain't like a deal breaker, but y'all will probably be bumping heads, yeah, about it kind it. of will be for me, though, a deal breaker. If you believe something different than I believe, because I mean, not saying. But what if you can that person, convert that person? But if I can't, because that's religion. You, you hardly can convert somebody. Yeah, you say you can't even convert like random people. Now you're trying to convert your boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse. Yeah. Yeah. Because just think about it. that's what they that's what they went their whole childhood believing. So yes, it's hard to get you out of. What you mm. do, went your whole life believing. Yeah. All right, next question. If your partner has a child from a previous relationship, are you agreeing to be in a polygamous relationship? Wait, 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 okay. Are you agreeing to it? But is it happening? Polly is three. That means me, you, somebody else. That's what that means. This dude, um, bro, you can't pick up two cards at the same time. That don't even make sense. <laughs> well, maybe I should say neutral. Well, you didn't even read because, neutral the card. Because we can't act like, like unless the, the child's father is just non, non in the child's life, we can't act like he doesn't have a say-so of anything. But I'm saying... Oh, the relationship. Yeah, like, is it me, you, and somebody else? Okay. Not do your baby daddy got a relationship. I mean, like a... A say in what goes. Yeah, that's okay. a whole different thing. Yeah. I'm saying, like, all three of us living in a house together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Band it up. Yeah. yeah. Yep. That is different. 
This dude. <laughs> she picked up two cards. Because in a way you are, you know, agreeing to having a man pick some decisions around. I mean, not really though, because. Can't move out of state. Somebody else's child. Yeah, I guess. I guess you're right about that one, huh? Is it okay to have a friend of the opposite sex? We don't, we don't, we don't play. It's tricky because we don't play that. Wow. No, it's like I never want she, to be she controlling. It a bit. I honestly would not like it, but I never want to be controlling. I don't know, cause it's like a. But I 100% don't like it. it. I can see why you said this. But it's like, a, for females especially, if you got like a male friend, I feel like they just waiting for, mm -hmm. they just like, like as soon as you tell them something bad happened between me and you, yeah. they go, oh, you know, I'm always here for you. You want to come over here and drink? Mm -hmm. Yep, I agree with you. It don't matter if that's your homie. It's like, if that's like my homie and he says something like that, that's like completely unacceptable. Yeah. He's like, oh yeah, you know, he he done did something such and such and such. Like, dang. Yeah. That is, uh, no, I can't, I can't, nah. Yeah, I 100% I don't like it, but yeah, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to like it. I see what you're saying, like, you don't want to be controlling. Yeah, if you was to happen to have that friend around before I came around, I don't just want to be like, no, you can't have that friend. You know, because then it seems like you got to do everything go my way, you know, all your ways of living is just no more. But it's like, since we don't have friends with the opposite sex, then it's not a problem. But what if we did? Obviously, you would come first. So if you don't want me to associate myself with that person right. like what if that. She's never done anything wrong. What if she just genuinely see you as a brother? I guess you're right. I mean, I, I I just don't look with females. It's like, nah, you can never call somebody else a brother, especially if that's not your brother, because they don't look at it like that. They looking at it, they're like, as soon as as soon as my man slipped, I'm in there. Why you why you sound so happy when you? Now I'm saying that's how they be, bro. Yeah. yeah, you got any female friends I need to know about? Cause he just saying from. Past experience. No, nah, I'm actually he just not. Like I do. I had this one friend. And I wanted to crack her so bad. <laughs> that, that's just how you <laughs> sound right now. I never said that's that. That's how you sounding. Nah, uh, I'm actually not sounding like that. I'm just saying I know how men are. Can I get to the next question though? Yeah, Why you like question. hogging me down? You like burning in the side of my head? <laughs> okay. Uh, is the man the head of the household? Why do you gotta Now, how she answer me? this question? Determine a lot right now. Why you gotta look at me? Because she might be outside after this video. You might be at a hotel. I don't need. Man. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> but even if I was to say this, like. So now you feel feeling some type of way about your just answer? No. No, that ain't what I'm saying. I'm saying I, I I do strongly agree it, but I feel like you have to be a man worth being mm. the the head of the household. Yeah. Like like if your mindset ain't there and the woman got to pick up everything for you like she your mom. That yeah. You need at to that point, out. you're not even really like a man at that point. Yeah. You just. Yeah. Y'all just live together. Mm-hmm. Y'all just dwelling. Shacking up. Just dwelling. Just doing stuff. Is it okay to do what you want during a break in your relationship? Ooh. What's a break? Now, you know what? It, it really depends on if you're married or not, I guess. No, no, no. It if, don't if really you marry, depend. you don't get a break. You're married. You're married. I guess you're There's right. no breaks in marriage. Yeah. Either way, it's strongly yeah, disagree. Yeah, either way, it's strongly disagree. So, where's your card? I mean, 
It's a relationship until until you It's a relationship. <laughs> It's a relationship now. Until you marry, you're single. It's a relationship. <laughs> you listen to me. Because listen, when we took a break, wow, that's not what I'm saying. Finna, I'm finna say I was dogging them. <laughs> I'm saying when we took like the two year break, uh -huh. we didn't think we was getting back together. That wasn't no break. That was like. But now that we're back together, it was. It, it kind of wasn't. How wasn't it? It was that I don't I don't know that. I, I mean, like... I get what you're saying, but if we was to be telling someone about our our relationship, we got back together, was not together, and then got back together. You know, so it looks like a long, long, long break. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't really count that because. Well, I I kind of agree that. I feel like if, if we not calling it a break, then it's not a break. It's mm -hmm. more so like a break up. Yeah. Okay. It's not a break. Okay. I get what you're saying. But sometimes like say, say the first time you get with somebody and y'all are good people, but it's just not the right time. Like you're not in the headspace to be a wife yet. You know, you would just. You just stumbled across him and you know seeing that he was a good guy but that's not you, you're not ready to settle down yet you're gonna have to come back to him but you gotta you know take a break and sow your royal oats your royal oats real quick what that mean do what you want to do basically have like go through your red hair phase have your little hot girl summers and then yeah say that because don't don't try to sugarcoat it Talking about some red oak. What you say, red oak? <laughs> royal oats. Royal. Like what? That. It's royal oats. So your royal oats. I don't know what it's <laughs> really called. But yeah, say, cause say if you was to get with that person and be like, I'm not really here right now, then you gonna end up cheating on them and be like, you know, then now you but messed up like, the relationship. But if that was the case, then you had that in your heart from the beginning. Right, but I'm saying, what if you stumbled across him, like, oh, he a nice guy, we gonna go on a few dates. And then, then don't put that on me, cause you wanna sit there and have a hot right, girl. That's what I'm Let's saying, take don't a even, break. don't even pursue it. Like, if you feel like you was gonna do that in the beginning, don't even pursue it at all, cause yeah. it ain't even no point of both of y'all going through that. Okay, well, say, say y'all get together, and not even saying that you're trying to go mess off with somebody else. Say your mindset just not in the right spot right now. Cause say we together, but I'm seeing that our growth patterns are not the same. And you like, okay, well let's take a break. Let me get myself together and then I'm gonna come back to you. How about that one? I don't know, cause it's like a eh, but then it's like a eh. Cause it's like, what are you gonna do by yourself that you can't do with me? What if? I understand that I'm probably like a distraction. Like yeah. we're probably distracting each other. But it's like when you separate for that long, then you're going to eventually be like, like it don't even, you don't even want to pursue it no more. Right. Because y'all done separated for so long. And now he probably then bumped into somebody else and he really feeling them. And you probably bumped into somebody else and you really feeling us. So what y'all thought was a break really ended up being like y'all last time having dealings with each other. Right, but like, like, what if, like, me knowing that I'm in a relationship, I'm putting my all into that, and I'm not putting my all into me. Mm. I need to take a break so I can find me, you know, get myself to be the woman that I need to be, and then come back to you. Because if I'm, if I'm, you know, here and I'm not the woman I want to be, and then we just settling down, shacking up, boom, now I got kids. Now I can't even go to the college that I wanted to go to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so maybe sometimes they need to take a break, go to college, you know, find them, and then become the woman of the house and be the woman that you need to, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's going through phones of invasion of privacy. Why you say that though? Because I feel like your business, my business, my business, your business. No, I feel like 
if anything is an invasion of privacy, we'll be doing that bedroom. So if we can see each other but booty up all naked, then I can go through your phone and see what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Like if if you didn't seen every inch of my body, why you going through a phone? A problem. An invasion of privacy. Mm. You in the bathroom when I'm boo booing, but going through your phone mm. is an invasion of privacy. Stinky. Poop. Stank. Mm-hmm. I done licked you all the way from the back to the front. Not me. But going through. <laughs> <laughs> you just ate my thing. You want to switch? <laughs> but yeah, like, like, like it's only invasion of privacy because you doing something up there now. That's, yeah, that's how, uh, probably a lot of people would view it like, ain't nobody going through my phone, you know? Yeah. But it's like, if you ain't got nothing to add. Yeah, like. Why not? Like, I didn't trust you to make a soul tie with me and my body, but going through a Yo, cellular device is right, a problem. Right, right. Yeah. All right. Like, we didn't swap DNA, but the phone is off the that don't make sense to me. I feel like she's like really trying to direct this at me right now. But it's crazy because <laughs> she didn't get all my passwords to everything. No, I'm not saying you're trying to No, I'm just playing. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I get up in there. <laughs> I'll let you. What are you talking about? No, I'm no, I'm saying, like, I get up in there, but, like, for a cellular people. Oh, uh, yeah. I was going to say, that's not really a problem with us. Cause... Yeah. Because it's like, okay. But yeah, that's it for this video. Let us know in the comments what you thought about that below. Let us know if you agreed or disagreed to anything that we have said. Let us know if you, you know, feel one of the points that one of us was making. Mainly me. But yeah, it's been your girl, Keisha. Damn. I was going to say, like, let us know if y'all wanted to, like, a part two to this. Okay. Yeah, because this was a good, a good back and forth yeah and also it would be good for new couples to yeah set those foundation foundational questions before they set up get up into some stuff yeah so make sure y'all stay blessed man yeah as always your boy chris and your girl Shella, and we'll see you in the next